Hey, shalom, shalom, when the stuff is always about giving no praise to Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba Shem, Ukab, Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS and honors to you brothers doing the work in truth, what sincerity. Uh, this is just a, a quick one on, um, you know, on the fact that, you know, and, you know, it's a topic that's been covered, you know, a million times. Well, but it's the fact that America is going to be destroyed. Right, and you know, even even her allies are going to be shooting against her. The, you know, her allies are just going to, um, you know, they're going to, you know, send them ICBMs. Because right now, right, you're having um, you ha you're having uh, tensions between the two nations. I mean, between America and her allies in terms of the tariffs that she's put on them. You know, you know, through our through our man DJ Trump. Well, this is Jeremiah 50 and 14. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow. Right? And, 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 you know, when you actually go into the scriptures, right, that bow isn't talking about a literal, uh, you know, bow and arrow. Right? That's, that's, that's figurative, right, for, um, you know, these ICBM nuclear missiles, right? So it says, um, shoot at her, spare no arrows, right, for she hath sinned against Yahweh. Right, so we may have the end of America signed up in the air and people will be like, why does America have to be destroyed? Well, that's why, because she has sinned against Yahweh. Right, you know, it, in there, what you call it, the, the blood of, uh, the, uh, what you call it, the children of Israel was shed in that land. What does the scriptures say, right? This is uh, Numbers 35, 33. It says, so you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. Right, for blood, it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. Right, but by the blood of him that shed it, right, and the blood of uh, which called the Native Americans was shed in that land, you know, genes you know, to, to genocidal levels, right, the blood of the um, this you know, so called Negro that it was shed in that land, right, once again to genocidal levels, right. Now, let me get this real quick. Right, well, so Jeremiah fifty thirty three says, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Right, the children of Israel representing the northern kingdom, right, the children of Judah representing the southern kingdom, right, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, right, it says, uh, were oppressed together, and that, you know, that's talking about that land of America, right, that's where, you know, the, the those two nations were, uh, well, the, those two kingdoms that, you know, form all, all in all the kingdom of Israel, right, the children of Israel, right, they were oppressed together in that land, right, it says, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. Right, and you you've seen that man. They've um, you know, they, they, they the way they hide information from Jake, the way they keep Jake oppressed. Where right? they want to keep Jake in that position, where right? they're pushing you know this whole black consciousness thing so that Jake can stay in that dumb state, right? But yeah, you see, so you see that's that's why America has to be destroyed. Right, because she's 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 sinned against the Lord, and and you know that blood that land that land is bloody, right? Uh, and read as uh, Jeremiah fifty twenty nine says, "Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, right? Yet according to all that she hath done, do unto her." Right, so basically, that's saying uh, uh revenge, right? What she's done, do unto her. So uh, now I need to um, get this Revelation 18 and 6. Right, it says, reward her even as she had rewarded you. And double unto her double. And that's not a literal double. That's a figurative double. Right? You know, so basically for all the wickedness that, you know, these devils have done unto the children of Israel. Right? Which is really all of these heathen nations. Right? Every single one of them. Because they all came together. Right? They've all... um consulted together with one consent to destroy Israel right says so Psalms 83 uh, from verse 2 says for lo thine enemies make a tumult right and they that hate thee have lifted up their head they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden one right so you know Israel has enemies right and they've basically gone together and they've said you know how, how can we destroy these people Right, verse 4 says they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance right so that's why I was, like I said they, you know they pushed that whole you know you're African you know you're this you're that right so that we forget who we are so that Israel as a whole forget that we're you know we're the, we're the children of Israel right this is Jeremiah 17 and 4 
Right, so, and now even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right, it says, and I will call, and, and that's that's happened. Right, Israel don't know who we are. We'll be everything apart from an Israelite. Right, it says, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. So Israel's in this predicament, right, because we went off. Right, and, and that means I must now needs get this. Right. So Israel went through that because we went off, right? So, but then read this is Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. It says, "For thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and art thou he that should altogether go unpunished?" So Israel drank, but that one a lot. Yet, however, you think that you don't all this wickedness and you won't drink. So if Israel drunk, you know, and Israel's the apple of the Lord's eye, what makes you think that you won't drink? Of that cup, which is that bondage, right? That hardcore bondage, that slavery, right? It says, Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, right? So basically, saying these heathen nations, man, you know, all, all the ones that came together to do, you know, to do what they did to the children of Israel, all of them, right, which is just gonna go into here, right? You, you know, you go and drink, but primarily, primarily, you, you so called white people, you Edomites, man, right? It says, um, says they have said come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of israel may be no more in remembrance for they have consulted together with one consent right they are confederate against thee right and once again the first uh, nation that's that's uh mentioned right is the tabernacles of eden right these so-called white people and the ishmaelites right of moab and the hagarenes cabal and Ammon and amalek the philistines and with the inhabitants of tyree right so hey, Israel has enemies, so they're gonna have to get their reward. Right, so reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled filled to her double. Right, so when America's destroyed, right, you know it's only righteous. Right, so I'll carry on in Jeremiah fifteen twenty nine. Says, call together the archers against Babylon. Right, Babylon meaning confusion, the land of confusion. Babel, so that meaning confusion. Right, so the land of confusion says, all ye that bend the bow. Right, so all of these me um, nations that have that ICBM nuclear missile, right? It says, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work. Right, according to all that she hath done, do unto her. For she hath been proud against the Lord, Yahweh, right, against the Holy One of Israel. Right, so for all the wickedness that America's done, you know, a recompense it, throw it back at her. Right, and destroy her because of it, right? You know, and uh, what you call it for all the, uh, you know, for all the slavery and all of that that these Edomites and these heathens have done unto the children of Israel, right? You know, we, you know, we're gonna have to, what you call it, we're gonna have to make them go through the same thing, but worse, right? Uh, let me, let me get there. Let me, let me try. Let me just get this. This is uh, Revelation seventeen and sixteen. It says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon upon the beast. Right, these shall hate the whore, right? So you know that's that's talking about uh, uh, America's uh, this is, uh, America's allies, right? They're gonna hate her. They're gonna hate on her, man. Right? It says and shall make her desolate and naked, <coughs> and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, right? So um, yeah, that's, I just wanted to get into that real quick. You know, Spirit had it whereby, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd been uh, reading into something about the ICBMs last night and uh, which caught when I went to sleep, man, you know, I just watched that, uh, basically had a dream about, you know, you know, this, this nu nuclear destruction, you know, you had a, which you call, you had a, you know, an ICBM and like a missile, tr you know, tracking it, trying to take it down, but it hit its target, right, you know, which is akin to what the scriptures say about how, you know when these these nations nations when these missiles uh go in you know and uh, i would call it entered in to hit they ain't go miss right you know missile defense systems ain't going to stop them none of that you know they're going to hit their target but um but yeah lords all you are edified to the next time shalom